What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Nega Cube draft. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I like see the unwritten. We don't draft green decks a lot. Um. So I also J Bro just said Boros equip is pretty good. So I'm gonna take this Kenra, and we're gonna try to be equipping some cats and then making some cats. Part of me was feeling overwhelmed by the Disney Star Wars stuff, but then I realized I didn't have to watch them all. Yeah, like, that's the thing. Like, that's why people are like, oh, they're making more movies of this? Like, okay, but you just don't have to watch it, right? Like, just don't fucking watch it. Same thing with cards, right? Like, it's the same thing with everything in life that they make. Like, variant comic... I had this discussion with, with people about variant comic books a while back, like, where they print, like, a book with, like, multiple different variant covers. And people would always fucking like the people in the comic book group on Facebook are the actual dumbest people on the planet. And they complain about everything. And they would always be like, man, why they print so many variants? Like, God, why they just bunk it? They just print not that many. And I'm just like, you know, you can just not buy it. Right. But like, okay. So it's, it's a net positive because if someone wants this, they get it. And if you don't want it, you don't get it. So the only people who lose no one, no one loses. That's the end. Target artifact you control against those artifact tabs. We are going to have artifacts, and being able to tap equipment is pretty sweet, so I'm going to take this guy. And value equip and untapping, fixing, high. Untapping, fixing. Do you mean untapped, fix? Untap. You did say untapped, fixing. All right. Fires of Invention. That's pretty that's pretty spicy. Uh, boy. Well. Nothing great here. Nothing great, Bob. I'm gonna take the talisman of progress, I guess. I think we're more likely to be Jeskai than Mardu. Let's, I mean, unmake is fine, but are we really gonna pay like triple white? Probably actually. You know what? I'll take an unmake. Tap two and tap artifacts to shoot a dude. Um, God, is it just sky scanner? <laughs> it's not going well so far. But we can quick smith a rebel a sky scanner. Oh, I like Joyra a lot. Eventually, there's going to be uh, equipment in this equipment deck. This card seems really good. Four more artifacts that gets hexproof. And then you can just tap like those four artifacts that turn and draw two. Um, I mean, it's Valorous Stance is fine. Not super exciting, but I'll take it. Well, Jaber is saying stay the course and we'll get rewarded. So we'll see. Magma Spray, sure. All right, I am suspicious so far. It's hip to be square. The real equipment was the friends you made along the way. Where's the lie? Doesn't exist. What do we got here? And still not a single equipment, huh? Palladium mirror. Temporal isolation? That guy, that gets rid of something. Not feeling good about this, Jay, bro.
Uh, don't care about Molten Steel Dragon, per se. I think Demon Bolt's probably better than Sigrid. I mean, got three creatures so far. Oh, Heavenly Blade Master is actually pretty sweet, right? That's got to be a decent top end here. I feel like Jay Bro's a little bit behind. Hmm. I mean, a 2 1 that holds equipment and filters a card is probably fine. Cathartic Reunions. Is Kitty Liddy. I don't I don't know what that means. I would think that means shit because, <laughs> you know, it's, I, I don't think of kitty, kitty litter as something good, but, you know, I guess to each their own. Yeah, I'll take the white black talisman, sure. Big downfall. Joyra? I like a Joyra. I'm on my phone, so I got delayed. Ten cards that I would play. Not bad. Okay. Equipment. Sword and sword. Put one encounter on a, on a creature control and proliferate. I kind of like that. It's got to be better than this, right? Yeah, Sword of Truth and Justice has got to be better than Sword of Vigilance. Plus, one of these is likely going to come back. So. Yeah, all right. I'm in. Pro white and pro blue is also not nothing. Twenty seconds from now, Jim Rose is gonna lose his mind. <laughs> oh dear. Ooh, Battlefield Forge is nice. What does this guy do? Whenever a creature you control that's enchanted or equipped the text, that creature gains double strike. Yeah, I'm probably going to take that. Oh, actually, this guy's going to table. This might not. So I'm going to take the Battlefield Forge. And I bet this guy comes back. Maybe they have an equal chance, and I'd probably rather have Rayev. Yeah, I'm going to take the Rayev. This is a card I'd rather not... This is a card I definitely want in my deck. And it's not super replaceable. Whereas... It's very possible that I cannot lose a game at this point. A little preemptive, preemptive, but yeah, you know, that's okay. Oh, coal. Whenever another non-token creature control dies, there's a chain of creatures you control that are chain equipped. Yeah, all right. These are the bullet. Oh, actually, Halvar's got to be better, right? And this guy might come back. Yeah, we're going to take Halvar.
Okie dokie, artichokey. I'm trying all these Walmart to see if I can get a schedule for a vaccine. Nothing yet. Oh, I didn't even know my pack popped. <laughs> That's how silly. <laughs> what a dumb dumb. Um, actually, I have no idea what 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 the pick is here. Sack any number of artifacts or creatures. Don't we really want to do that? Bygone Bishop could be good. I feel like we're gonna have a lot of cheap creatures. Yeah, let's do the Bygone Bishop. It's also an evasive creature for a sword. Um, what about here? What do we got here? Soldier of the Pantheon. Nice cheap gentleman. St Darnheim Courser. I'm going to take the Soldier here. I think having a, having a one drop here seems pretty good. This format also doesn't seem like it has a, a ton of removal that's really like getting your goose, you know? None of these stores have any openings. It's pretty wild. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, also Stonehaven Outfooter and Mall Outfooter. Jeez. Oh, God. These both draw cards. I think Akiri is better than Stonehaven Outfitter. But I think having equipment is better than both of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards. Two are going to come back. Ugh, this is actually surprisingly, surprisingly tough. Ugh. I'm going to take the equipment here. Feels better. I'm going to take Basler's Lieutenant. That guy seems bananas. <sighs> Who knows if that's correct? Who knows what's happening? Um, oh, core blade master. That's a, that's a dude. That's a dude. Is it look, oh, this is looking pretty good, buddy. This is looking pretty good. Man, now we're in a different city. Now we're in Littleton. Now we're going 15 miles away. Uh, oh, Mask of Immolation came back. Yes. Excellent. And nothing here. Gigantha is just a playable guy. Sure. It's a, it's a red card for all I care. Cole came back. Nice. Um, yeah, no, these are Electro Dominance is a, is a burn spell. All right. This is a pack with two cards in it. No, the next one is. Dang it. Uh, I'll take the pathway just in case we end up splashing blue off something. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Legendary equipment creature that no one cares about but me. I'm the only one who cares about this stupid idiot. Come on. Come on. Come on. One of the two. One of the two. There can't be two other people that care about stupid equipment cards. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I don't even know which side to play this as, to be honest with you. All right, what are we cutting so far? Because I feel like we're going to take out Unmake. I think it's a little mana intensive for us. And that's the only... Look at this, like, Equipments Matter, Equipments Matter, Equipments Matter, Equipment, Equipments Matter, Equipment, Equipment, Equipments Matter, Equipment, and Equipments Matter, Equipments Matter. Like, this is a pretty equipment-centric deck we got here, man.
All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Castle Ardenvale, not terrible. Probably seems like one of the better cards. Coldotha Rebirth. I don't think we're troubled with Coldotha Rebirthing. I think we just take the Ardenvale. It makes an endless stream of, of creatures we can equip, so it's actually pretty good. What do we got here? Uh, whenever one of our creatures attack, one of your opponents or a planeswalker thinks you'll lose your menace. That actually seems really good, but so does Torolf. I think we're Torolfing here. I mean, this turns into equipment as well, so. Also, equipped creature getting plus three plus O as long as it's legendary is pretty decent when we have Halvar. Akiri, Cole, and Rayav, and Kemba. Yeah, let's take a Torolf here. It's also just a 5-4 with Trample, so, you know, that's that's a thing as well. Talisman, a Thopter Arrest. Hardfire Emulator is also fine. It's a 2-2 two -two for 2 with Prowess, and, like, you can sack it to kill a creature or Planeswalker. Yeah, let's take the 2-2, two -two, I guess. Can't attack unless you control four or more artifacts. I feel like we're close to that. Mask is an artifact. Maul is an artifact. Sword, Sky Scanner. Halvor and Torolf can be artifacts. Quicksmith Rebel might not make the cut. It might just be Hyromancer's Cage, to be honest. I don't think we need more threats. We have 14 creatures. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to take the Cage. Godsend. Interesting. Well, if nothing else in this pack, I will take a Godsend. Ooh, Champion's Helm. A quick creature gets plus two, plus two, as long as the creature is legendary, it has Hexproof. Is that good? Skyline Despot, seven mana. When it enters the battlefield, you become the Monarch. I love being the Monarch, to be honest with you. That card seems pretty busted. Cloistered Youth is also just a solid two, two, or a solid three, three for, for two. Is this, this has got to be better than, like, Godsend, right? Like... I mean, they both, they're both they both three with three. No, this is three with one. Yeah, I think this is actually better than Godsend. Actually, this might come back. No, I don't want to risk that. Like, the your opponents can't cast spells with the same name as a card exiled with Godsend does nothing in Limited. Because it's, it's cube and there's only one of everything, so. Oh, Torgo Weaponsmith. It makes equipment, <laughs> so I'll take it, sure. It's also legendary, so Champion's Helm. Also, Bygone Bishop is good here. Jeez, that deck's looking pretty wild. I wonder if this is a 16 land deck. Sarkon? Oh, Weapons Trainer? Jeez. Yep, Weapons Trainer it is. Oh, boy. Like, that's got to be better than, like, Fissure Wizard. 
Actually, maybe Sky Scanner's getting cut. I feel like the cheaper card, like this draws us a card for three, but this actually just, I mean, it's probably just fine to get rid of land. Being cheaper might be better as well. But evasion is good when we got swords, so. Yeah. Nothing nothing was going to come back from this pack that wasn't great to begin with. I'll just take another talisman. Now we have two talismans to splash black cards. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Oh, the Frontier Warmonger came back. I like it. Whenever one or more creatures... This is a 4-mana four 4-4. Four, four. Whenever one or more creatures attack one of your opponents or a Planeswalker they control... So, like, no matter what, our creatures always get menace when they attack. It's fucking really good. That's insane, right? Now we have Talisman of Oncolor. Uh, Dryad Milton is a one drop, sure. Okie dokie. Seventeen creatures, huh? We're really gonna need to make some, make some decisions after this. I'm gonna go to the bathroom as soon as this draft portion is over with, though. <sighs> sure. We did not get any lands that are oh skyline dust but that's a cool guy we didn't get any any fixing lands we only got castle arden vale which is fine it's a good land but not fixing us all right 26 cards we need to make some cuts So, one, two. Maybe Magma Spray? 17 creatures. I feel like we can cut something. Eh, Fissure Wizard. Fissure Wizard. <laughs> every time. I'm going to say it every time. I feel like one of the four drops can go as well. God, Warmonger giving vigilance to all your creatures seems really good. Maybe Basra's Lieutenant? Repeat my last tweet. Interesting. Let's grab this and we'll show it. This was Jabra's last draft. Talisman, Edge of Autumn, Boreal Druid, Rishkar, Free Rampses, Skittering. And then you have Quicksilver Amulet and Elvish Piper. To put like Multani, Vorinclex, Apex, or get the betrays into play. Yeah, this deck looks sweet. Also, this Johnny's really good. Eldrazi Monument's real sweet. Okay, we need some more cuts. We need one more cut. I'm probably going to play 16 lands. I think it's got to be. I think Basri's Lieutenant is worse than Frontier Warmonger. I think this is going to be our deck. Castle Arden Vale. Six to eight. No. Eight. What? This is not even right, right? <laughs> this is 14. So we're going to go 7, 8. And that's 16, right? Yeah, that's weird. Well, we couldn't get that many one drops, okay, buddy? Jeez. I think our deck is still really strong. We have so many equipment slash artifacts matter creatures that hopefully we just we just win with those. Obviously. This this deck is also way out of my wheelhouse.
Uh, I think the upside on castle is is well worth it coming into, into play tapped sometimes. See, this hand's kind of rough. Unless we can draw like two drop, three drop, like. But am I also going to mulligan a hand with four lands when we have 16 lands? I think this is fine. I mean, just because we're an aggressive deck doesn't mean we absolutely have to be aggressive. I think it's just a... I think it's the default mode of our deck, but I also think we can... Yeah, I think the 1-1 flyer is good too. I just think all of our other three drops are better than it. Are they not going to play only? Oh, man. Yep. Come on, two drop. One time, big daddy. Uh, okay. <sighs> Ask and ye shall receive. Oh man, can we get a Maul of the Skyclaves one time? That would be sweet. Attack for six. Oh, are they going to play the Molten molten Dragon? Multi Boy? Oh, they are. Old Molts Magolts. Okay. Okay. Um... We can't equip this and play it, so I'm just going to pass. <sighs> Probably going to Hyromancer's Cage this guy next turn. I'd rather have Torolf as a guy right now anyway, because I just think a 5-4 is stronger than a... This isn't even legendary, so it actually gets no benefit from the equipment, unfortunately, except for the shoot, which also doesn't really do much here, so... Interesting. Scion of the Darkness. Okay. They're also at 14, which is not terrible. Okay, so they chose black with Thriving Bluff, which means they do have th two black sources right now. Hmm. Okay. That sure is cute. Yeah, they should have acted. They should have just pumped it seven times. I think that would have been a pro play. That's a pro gamer move.
No? What would you have done? I mean, we can't make it to an equip. This costs two to equip. It costs two to cast, and this guy costs two. That's six mana. I only got five. Felden. It's a credit token that's a copy of a target creature card in your graveyard, except that it's an artifact against haste. That's pretty good. Mall of Skyclaves. Oh, that's interesting. Don't have a response. Oh boy. Seven, yeah. <laughs> You're probably right. You're probably right that you only had five mana instead of six. Oh, interesting. The old double block. I will kill both of these guys. And get my tour off back. Sure, sounds good. Okie dokie. Dracusef is a pretty big banger. Seven, eight, nine. We take 11 and the wipes our board. That is pretty good. Yep, that's actually better. Oh, they're tapped? Can I kill them? Equipped warriors, you control a double strike. Hmm. Hmm. So we can equip this. We can also equip this. God, they have one card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, but they could have something. They have access to things. Oh, Gotti. <laughs> oh, man, with the double hexy boys. Take this out. Not double hexy boys, double double strikey boys. That's what I meant. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm.
I kind of like Unmake here. It's got better than Magma Spray. Rebel, Rebel. <laughs> Jaybro, have a good night, buddy. I hope you get some sleep, my dude. Oh, yeah. Keep it. Three two drops means we can go two drop bygone bishop. Other two two more two drops make two clues. Oh, and we hit the land to do it. Bing 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 bing. Oh 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 O'Reilly. Auto parts. Mental note, they hit nothing. Seems good. We do need another white source, though. We have two double whites. Let me guess, two swamps. Mm, two mountains. Nice. Because now we can go both of these guys next turn. Oh, come on. Ugh, that's frustrating. If they end up winning at like three life, I'm going to be really mad. You actually, you can even see it go up and down. That's really stupid. Anger of the gods. Storms around. Okay. Sounds good. You just gain control of it forever? Okay, that's good. Whenever one of our creatures attack... So I can just play this and this gets Menace? Yeah, that seems really good. Let's do that. Triggered. Wow, all of our creatures are getting menaced from a 4-4 four, for four, four seems bananas. Wow, they made two clues. Not 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 something I thought was gonna happen here. Yeah, this is what I thought you'd do. Oh, good. How nice. Oh, they're just cracking the clue. Great. Great. 
go, 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 great. Actually, this guy's probably better here, right? This is equipped warriors. This is any equipped creature, so, you know, seems better. Oh, God. Jesus, that's going to be a real pain in the ass. <laughs> Not attaching a clone yet. That doesn't do anything right now. Well, that's a, that's, that's a, that's a problem. Probably dead here because that thing can just wipe our board in one attack. And they just take five here. I think Dracula Seth is actually just game over for us. Four damage to any target, three damage, so four, three, three, cool. Yep, not gonna play this out after you just land a Dracula Seth. Ah, that's frustrating. Well, we don't have any other answers for Dracula Seth. I guess hope they don't get to seven mana. No. No. Oh, no. So, uh, hold on one second. I'm trying to schedule this. Oof. Friday, April 9th. Love it. Continue. Oh no, no time slots. Why are they open? Oh yeah, that's that's great. Oh man, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, let's say one thirty on f Saturday. Uh, schedule a second dose. Hold on one second, guys. I'm sorry. I'll pause this for YouTube. Okay, for those watching on YouTube, I played a planes. Now I'm playing this guy. I just scheduled my COVID vaccine for this Saturday. So that's kind of cool. I guess they're gone now. So congrats. Thanks for doing your part to fight the plague. Oh man, that's exciting. I got it in four days. My first dose is Saturday, April 10th. Second dose is Saturday, May 1st. I'm pretty sure this is also like two blocks away from my house, which is hilarious. It's like the literal closest location is uh, it's the one I found. Yep, that's kind of hilarious. Okay, our dried Milton finally resolved after like three minutes. So here we are. Okay. Temporal isolation. Actually, Valor's stance is great because if they try to do some Dracula shenanigans, I'm just gonna 
murder it. I'm just gonna myrtleize it. So this is two and two. It's four. Two and two is four. Level that dude up. Oh yeah. Draw a card, discard a card. Get in there for four. Quattro. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass here. I wanna demon bolt this thing, so. They didn't even use it. Their hand is that good. Thank you. Hmm. I don't know if you guys heard that, but that was a terrifying sound. I'm also not sure what caused it. Super fits at the resub though. I appreciate you, bud. <sighs> Track you sneth. Sure. They're gonna reanimate. I'm gonna get a blue out of it. Mental note myself. Oh, Felden. Ooh, it's a little Felden. Well, we're going to demon bolt this guy because reasons. Also, temporal isolation is pretty good. It's prevent all damage. All damage? Oh, we have actually two answers to a Dracu set. Three answers to a Dracu set? I mean, I'm not going to play. I'm not going to play Halvar here if the Dracu set were actually just dead. So we can just keep dealing four damage a turn deal with what they play slowly. And we have like three answers in hand. But I mean, if we do get land Halvar, like we can just go put it on here and deal six, seven, eight. What up, you biscuit? Well, they're doing something, I think. Lady Amir, you got it. I think we're going to temporal isolation just so we can keep dealing damage here. Okay, Maul of the Skyclaves is pretty good. It's three... I mean, Victimize puts them both into play tapped, so I, I'm just gonna hope they don't. I don't know if there's anything that gives haste. Don't force spike me. I mean, this is eight, so. They go to two, both creatures are lethal. <sighs> Let's see if we're dead here. I mean, I guess not we're not dead. If they like get Dracu, so we Valor stands, we still have time. And they are at two, so that's a thing. Raise the volume again. There's like a big loud screechy noise and that was very unpleasant. And they got to deal with both of these things. Even if you get rid of the mall, like it's still a 2-2. Two, 1-2. Two. Two. 
Yep, I have a feeling there's gonna be black. I think they're gonna victimize here, but both those guys come into play tapped. I mean, this feels very much like a victimized. Sack play, Amir. Get back, Felden, Dracuseth. Oh, okay, we just won the game. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. I mean, this deck is sweet, so. What up? I'm going to pause it until... There's been a lot of pausing in this video, so if you guys see me jumping around a bit, that's why. All right, let's join this match. 1-0 versus 1-0. Uh, no two drops here, but I think I might keep it anyway. Bygone Bishop into Frontier Warmonger is good if we get the lands for it. Land? Nice. Dig through the ditches and burn through the witches and slam in the back of my Dracuseth. Dracuseth's a scary card, man. It's also like one of my favorite recent threats. Oh, nothing, huh? Give me a two drop here. Why can't you do that? What was, what was, what was the big deal about that? can't even kill this thing with my magma spray but then again do i really care i don't know dig through the ditch play with perforos is awesome you know what's awesome you're awesome slam in the back of my dragula Okay, then you cast him down. I will take the rice. No, buddy. You're awesome. <clears throat> oh, God, what is this? Six mana? Jesus. I guess we got Cage. Nicholas. Oh, fuck, dude. Jesus. What are you doing? Of course I lose to a Sultai deck. There was never another way. We haven't lost yet. Yeah, you know, I guess that's true. I guess that's correct. Man, Dinner of a Horror is such a good card. What set was that even in originally? Gate crash? I think it was gate crash. You know, I'll take four. My favorite thing to do is kill their things. Why is this? Why does he keep asking me all these questions? Okay, well, that's less pleasant. Apparently, I cannot get sound anymore. I don't know what happened. It's just gone. Weapons Trainer, Mall of the Skyclaves. Other creatures you control plus one, plus one, as long as you control an equipment. I think I do. Huh. Hmm. What's our options here? We kill Master Splicer. We take four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They got lethal on board. I guess we can play mask instead. And then we get to shoot the stupid. We get the block here, shoot here, take five. Actually, maybe we just hold back here. Maybe we're not the aggressor here. Maybe we have to understand that. I mean, if this guy gets double strike, though, I'm going to feel real silly.
cool. God, you just fucking have all of it, don't you? Seems good. Not sure why I'm still playing, but I guess because I'm a fucking idiot. Let me guess. Land? Yep, sounds good. Get rid of this. Play a blocker for this. Take two. Eh. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, we, I don't know. I don't know what our... Basri Lieutenant actually seems good here. Pearl Multicolor seems good. Like we just saw Catacomb. Oh, uh, Catacomb. I guess Catacomb Sliver doesn't do anything because it's uh, Catacomb... Is this Sliver? Catacomb Sifter? Not going to work here anymore, that's for sure. Let's take out Togo. I don't care about stupid Togo. Mm, sure. Oh, fashion related to the party, I see. <sighs> I'll foretell, too. Sixteen lands, guys. Four, five, six to four spells. Seems good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They did nothing. Well, I guess we're going to keep getting in there for two damage. Good old two damages. What's EOT? Reign of, Reign of Revelation? They used a counter for that? Why the fuck would you use a counter when you have a Mystic Gate in play? What? Was that a flex? <laughs> I don't understand. Okie dokie. Solid. Yeah, that's a gentleman, all right. Sweet. Really, really drawing the cards here that are gonna let us gonna let us triumph over evil. Even if it was a white, it'd be significantly better because then I could actually make a creature and still keep up Demon Bolt. Now I can do nothing with most of my mana.
They used another counter off this when they have Mystic Gate still. I really don't understand what's happening right now. I have no idea why they're using their Vivid Marsh counters. <laughs> However, this could not have worked out better. Come on, equipment. Specifically, like a mall. It's pretty much a blank, unfortunately. Like, they can literally just blink this and bounce it next turn. I need no Revoras to it. Ooh, whoa. That doesn't do anything. Ooh. Guess we're just gonna attack the vents or Man, apparently I'm just destined to lose my second round all the time. Yeah, sure. I I don't know why you wouldn't just blink this and bounce it. So I I mean like uh, I don't understand what's going on. Like, just wasting cards for no reason when you have onboard ways to deal with my stuff is weird. Well, I still have four cards in hand. Soldier of the Pantheon doing some work here, but... Archaeomancer. Real nice. You got it. Seems good. I think Vencer is friggin' great in this, in this cube. Yeah, we're just gonna go to the next game. Like, we can't do anything here. Next match, rather. Like, this match was fucking miserable. Oh, that was quick. Quickity quick, quick. Well, maybe it wasn't that quick. Let's try again. <laughs> I'd call the police. Jesus. <clears throat> um, yeah, all right. Oh, I like that. Although this is the color of death, so. Oh, I like that. He's going to say I like that to everything. Kind of want to draw red so we can play coal and, and keep up magma spray, but...
they pan life? What's going on here? Oh my god, dragon again? Jesus, what is happening? Two matches in a row I gotta play this thing? Whenever a lander is a battlefield critic, colorless equipment is called a rock. Hmm. Let's play that first. I mean, they're probably going to attack us for like a bajillion, right? So that seems good. Uh, okay. Oh, now they can pay one instead of two life. Fascinating. Look, they have the exact card they need to kill my 1-1 one -one when I try to equip it. Isn't that sad? Isn't that sad? I wanna, and we don't even have a land for the to to Togo. Okay. Maybe they'll miss this. It's <laughs> good. Make sure you read the whole thing. Hey, wait a minute. Yep, obviously. <laughs> to the surprise of no one. Yeah. Ah, boy. Yep. We got a lot of answers for this. We need both lands and those answers. So, you know. What do they got here? Two free mana up, huh? What happens if I do this? Does he just die immediately? Who knows? I mean, we know. The answer is yes. Look. Look, he's going to die immediately. fucking cool dude <laughs> oh Jesus sounds good yeah mono fucking five power flyers I can't even draw fourth land seems good yep let's just concede again God, Magma Spray is fucking trash in this format. Actual garbage. Yeah, I'm bringing Unmake because, you know, at least that can kill a thing. It's like, yikes for me, dog. Keep. Snap it off. get that power on the board uh, I mean if we hit if they tap off for something because they can't actually say a white colorless okay hmm talisman were they trying to make black or red that'd be funny talisman Foretold. I foretold you. I mold you and fold you. Eight 
hate you. Hate you because I hate you. Okay, now they got all the man in the world. I mean, we could just move this over, though. Attack for five again. That's two turn clock. To assume they don't have answers, though, is pretty naive, right? There's nothing I can really do. They're going to kill something, so I might as well let it happen. And it's going to be poison the cup, I bet. Yep, always is. If we're to equip, we could just equip here. They take three. Can I do it at instant speed? That'd be sick. No, it's not. It's not cranial plating, I guess. I mean, we're just going to put another dude on the board. They put one on the bottom, one on the top, so... I gotta kill something here, right? It's got a weapons trainer. Royal Eruption deals three. Sure. And we'll just put you on a two turn clock, I guess. I guess we should have kept a red up because then we can sack this, but I don't think they're going to be able to play a creature and kill this in the same turn. And if they are, they're just going to kill it first and then play the creature. So while it is a misplay, doubt it's going to be super impactful. Also, our Castle Ardenvale tokens equipped with Mall of the Skyclaves are all lethal. So that's good. We've got that going for us. Hmm. Okie dokie. Well, attack for four. Sure. Thank you. Yep, that's fucking annoying. I don't know why it's making that noise. I don't know if you guys can even hear that. It's actually tremendously loud and terrible. Oh, it's because of the. Oh, it's because of a sub. Ben, big card. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. I am dead inside.
How about now? Okay. It's fucking weird, dude. Is everything messed up still? Let's find out. I am dead. No, I can hear that. Okay, we fixed it. Sorry, guys. Computers are funny. Maybe I do like Togo. Just because this guy's got landfall, right? Hmm. I really don't want to go to 41 cards and 16 lands here. Uh, we'll take out Basri's Lieutenant, I guess. Yeah, it's fine. It's not legendary, so. I want to rock, rock. I'll keep this hand. Like we're on, we're on course to play this. If we draw a red source, we can play Togo or Akiri. We can also play Halvar face down, which is pretty strong. Face down by face down, I mean uh, as a. That's what we wanted. Yeah, I think we're actually going to play Halvar as a sort of realms. Sure. Um, that's actually probably better here, right? Because we just get to play a guy instead and decide later if we want to play Halvar. I want to rock, rock. Gremlins in the mic tubes, right? Okay, so actually next time we can play Togo Land and equip this if we play it. We can also play Akiri the Fearless. Oh, you're just going to kill this guy? Oh, good. Glad I didn't spend any, spend any valuable mana on it. Also, if they like tap out and we get to play Champion's Helm on this attack for five draw card like that's pretty good they also have three cards not when you attack a player with one or more equipped creatures draw a card I think I'm going to take a turn off just to make a rock actually rock equips for one That's got to be better than the helm here. Because they're not going to let us... If they have an instant speed removal spell, they're not going to let us equip anyway. What does Mike have in his tubes? Trash juice. Yep, you got all the removals. Just removals all day, every day, forever. Two cards on top. That's gonna that's gonna go well. Gotta rock. <laughs> Amazing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, can't deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing all right give me another rock it's plus two that switching controller that are enchanted or equipped have double strike two three four five Oh, they just get to put this in their hand and keep making guys? Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yep, that's pretty much unbeatable. Like this, I, I don't know, like it's really funny when Team J-Bro's like, I don't think you're going to lose a game. And then like we end up losing literal tons of games because they are they just put cards you can't deal with like Ugin on the board and you're just like, well, okay. My interaction is minimal. <laughs> it's 
So that's good. Oh, they're just letting it hit. Interesting. You might as well move this over here, right? Not sure I understand that choice, but. <sighs> What's the verdict here, buddy? One, two, three, four, five, there's seven mana. It's a good amount. Okay, you got it. Huh. Uh, sure. Uh, okay. Yep. So we can unmake this guy, shoot the Ugin. So, make another rock, I guess. So many rocks. So attacking, we're just going to trade here. I don't think they're going to let the Ugin die. This is going to deal one. So I'm pretty sure we just sack this creature to deal two damage. Sack the rock, right? Sacrifice rock, yeah, sure. And I'll play Mask and Pass. I have no cards in hand. All right. You might want to activate Castle Lockley in here just to draw a card and take one point instead of two. And I was correct. I mean, they get three new cards this turn, so it's pretty good. They can go land, four drop. Oh, also the creature is indestructible, so they wouldn't even they wouldn't even block. Or they would block it, we just wouldn't die. Is what I meant to say. Okay, take three. Fascinating. Coley boy. Let's play Halvar, I guess.
What are they doing right now? Do 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 do. They're doing something right now. Hmm. I'm intrigued. Uh, sure. Yeah, this is nice because now this guy, when he dies, um, he'll go back to our hand, which is pretty relevant. And they have to lose their last creature now. Ooh, that's pretty good for us, I guess. So they are getting these cards, but we're going to win this game. Worst cast down of all time. Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, we have three legendary guys on the board, so that's kind of cool. Also, if they wipe the board, we get both of these guys back. Oh, they're just going to draw a card and take three. Ooh. Oh, I feel like we, oh my God, we just won. Oh my God, Team J, bro, I take it back, buddy. 2-1, thank you guys for watching. Slam the like button, the subscribe button. Head on over to Twitch and subscribe. Help out the channel. Help me with my rent goal. Do all the things that keep me alive. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of you guys. Uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.